Hello, everyone. This is English with Faz, and welcome to another video. Today, we're going to practice listening. So make sure to listen carefully to answer the questions at the end of the video. Are you ready? So let's get started. Good morning, Cecilia. How are you feeling today? I do not feel very well, Dr. Klein. I hope that you can treat my illness. I'm sorry that you feel very sick. Tell me some of your symptoms so that I can give you a proper diagnosis. I have not felt well since yesterday afternoon. The symptoms began with a headache and a gradual sore throat. I drank tea with lemon and honey, and I went to bed early. However, I am extremely exhausted, and I don't feel any better today. I have seen these symptoms recently in some of my other patients. I'll check your temperature and examine your throat in order to give you a proper diagnosis. Thank you, doctor. Open up and say ah, ah. Oh my! I can already see that your throat is very red. Your temperature of one hundred degrees indicates that you are running a mild fever. I'm afraid that you might have the flu. What is the best way to cure my symptoms? You'll need plenty of rest, and you should drink fluids frequently in order to stay hydrated. You've also just started to show symptoms, so I can prescribe you a medication that can reduce fever and shorten the duration of your illness. Should I stay home from work as well? Yes, you should remain in bed until the fever breaks. You should also wait until twenty-four hours after the fever has broken before you return to work. You do not want to risk getting your coworkers sick as well. I suppose I will just take it easy and relax for a couple of days. Thank you, doctor, for all of your help. No problem. Try your best to rest for a couple of days. I hope you feel better soon. Good morning, Cecilia. How are you feeling today? I do not feel very well, Doctor Klein. I hope that you can treat my illness. I'm sorry that you feel very sick. Tell me some of your symptoms so that I can give you a proper diagnosis. I have not felt well since yesterday afternoon. The symptoms began with a headache and a gradual sore throat. I drank tea with lemon and honey, and I went to bed early. However, I am extremely exhausted. And I don't feel any better today. I have seen these symptoms recently in some of my other patients. I'll check your temperature and examine your throat in order to give you a proper diagnosis. Thank you, doctor. Open up. And say ah、uh, ah、uh, oh my! I can already see that your throat is very red. Your temperature of one hundred degrees indicates that you are running a mild fever. I am afraid that you might have the flu. What is the best way to cure my symptoms? You will need plenty of rest, and you should drink fluids frequently in order to stay hydrated. You've also just started to show symptoms. So I can prescribe you a medication 
that can reduce fever and shorten the duration of your illness. Should I stay home from work as well? Yes, you should remain in bed until the fever breaks. You should also wait until 24 hours after the fever has broken before you return to work. You do not want to risk getting your co-workers sick as well. I suppose I will just take it easy and relax for a couple of days. Thank you, doctor, for all of your help. No problem. Try your best to rest for a couple of days. I hope you feel better soon. Now, time for the questions. Question number one. When did Cecilia begin to feel ill? A. Last night? B. Yesterday afternoon? C. Yesterday morning? D. This morning? Correct answer is B. Yesterday afternoon. Question number two. Which of the following is not one of Cecilia's symptoms? A. Exhaustion B. Vomiting C. Sore throat D. Headache Correct answer is B. Vomiting Question number three. Dr. Klein diagnoses Cecilia with which illness? A. The flu B. Hay fever C. The common cold D. A head injury Correct answer is A. The flu Question number 4. How long does Cecilia have to wait until she can return to work? A. 15 minutes after taking her medication. B. 72 hours after her initial symptoms begun. C. 100 minutes after her medical appointment. D. 24 hours after the fever breaks. Correct answer is D. 24 hours after the fever breaks. Question number 5. Which question does Dr. Klein first ask Cecilia? A. Why are you late for your appointment? B. What are your symptoms? C. What medications have you taken? D. How are you feeling today? Correct answer is D. How are you feeling today? Question number six. What did Cecilia do before going to bed last night? A. Drink tea with lemon and honey. B. Take a non-prescription medication. C. Make a list of her symptoms. D. Schedule her appointment with Dr. Klein. Correct answer is A. Drink tea with lemon and honey. Question number seven. What object would Dr. Klein most likely use to take Cecilia's temperature? A. A thermometer. B. A thermostat. C. A cotton swab. D. A stethoscope. Correct answer is A. A thermometer. Question number eight. Why does Cecilia have to drink plenty of water? A. To reduce her fever. B. To prevent vomiting. C. To clear her throat. D. To stay hydrated. Correct 
correct answer is D. To stay hydrated.